All right, so this week we did the amps and we made that. Let me show you how I did it. All right, so now we have all the wiring labeled. Now we just need to mount up the amps and uh, wire them up. Pretty straightforward. All right, so now I have to drill all of the holes for the wires to come through so everything stays nice and hidden. We're gonna make sure we take anything that could scrape this leather, we're gonna take it out. We're gonna need to vacuum that out. We do not wanna mess this up. Now we're gonna make All right, so let's put Now we can pick this up right here. So this is going to be the mid-range positive print. They print so nicely. And then we're going to heat shrink that. Let me get my heat though. Let's heat this up. Let's see if I shrink it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, there you go. Now it's permanently labeled. Wow. And it just fits in here. All right, so this is the half inch Dymo. Let's try that. Let's see what the other sides look like. That'll just fit on there. Let's heat it up. So that's how we do it right there. Mid-range positive. So I know in here, whenever I'm working on the car, I'll be able to see. And we're good to go. All right, so this is the SCAR uh, speaker wire. This stuff is amazing. Bends nice and easy, flexes so nicely. Oh, it's just wonderful, man. You're gonna love this stuff. You know, we, we do all kinds of cars, but we try to stay away from Corvettes. It's, it's just because like, you know, Corvettes in Porsche, we do Ferraris, we do Rolls Royces, but it's just Corvettes, a lot of people want them 100% flawless, and you just can't really do that in somebody's driveway. You know, we come right to you. We can make it really, really nice, but you can't make it 100% perfect in somebody's driveway. You know, most people wouldn't see it, but I, I, there's, there's, I think you as a Corvette owner, you'll know, like, there's two different types of people that own Corvettes. There's people who just drive them, who just love to have a Corvette because they're the, the greatest American sports car. And then there's people who just absolutely love their Corvette and, and they, they wash it and polish it and do all that stuff. And, you know, I think both, both people are great people. I just, I, you know, I've been in business for 20 years, so I know, like, what the limits of what we can do as mobile people. Right, so the other thing I'm gonna do, since I have two amps, I'm gonna use just this heavy gauge speaker wire, which you can use really any size. Then I'm gonna use this speaker wire, this 12 gauge speaker wire, to power on both of my amps. I could just run one remote on to control either one, but I wanna be able to, if, if later on, uh, if I wanna control just one or the other, I can turn turn like the sub blob or something like that. I wanna be able to do that without opening all this stuff back up, so it's just easy to do it now. All right, so now we have all the wiring labeled. Now we just need to mount up the amps and uh, wire them up. Pretty straightforward. All right, let's get these amps mounted up. Okay, so this is the Milwaukee little grinder. Just a little M12. <laughs> I told you in one of the earlier videos how cool this thing is. I love it. I'm gonna make a little, little clear little spot on, on, the, on the spring perches there. So it'll get a nice good ground. Now we'll get a little self-tapper. All right, we got the back glass out. Now we got to make this back panel right here. Let's measure how wide it is. Looks like it's 59 inches, 14 inches deep. So 59 by 14. Okay, so this is the Dymo Rhino 5200. So first off, I really love tools that come in a hard case. You can buy this uh, without a case, but I love cases that keeps my tools nice and organized. I didn't think I'd like them, but now I try to buy tools with cases. So this is the label maker. All right, so inside the box, what you have is you have the label maker machine, the 5200. You can buy this separate if you'd like. I, I like I said, I like the box. It comes with black and white, uh, three eighths wide strips, black and white, three quarter inch strips. So it comes with this lithium ion battery. You can also run it on six AA batteries. I like that it's all, it's got a nice rubberized grip. I can see what type of paper is in there. Oh, I like that cutter. This thing has so many options. Nice keyboard, nice number pad. We'll make a label for our label maker. All right, let's print this out. Let's see how fast it prints. Boy, that's fast. Wow, look at that. I like that nice, clean sort of font. It has different fonts, different font sizes, different font styles. Dymo Rhino 5200, you're definitely gonna want one of these things. This thing is amazing. All the labels you'll ever need to make, probably, right here. Three-eighths, half-inch, three-quarters, amazing. 
All right, so now I've cut this this board here. I'm not sure what it is. It's like a plastic. I got it from my local hardware store, Home Depot, and I marked off the ends. There's a two inch gap between here and there on both ends. It's got a slight curve. You can kind of see it right there. So I marked it off just to make sure. And now I'm gonna cut a smaller piece to go in here that's gonna be raised up and beveled. And then the speakers will be recessed in that so it's not just a flat panel. Kind of make it three dimensional, which I think will give it a lot more character when you look in there. So after looking at it, this is where the, you know, the window will be here. And then there'll be like a little lip here. And then this will be a gap, this will be 45. And then my uh, speakers are gonna be countersunk in there. And then this will be beveled here. So I think that looks nice. That centers up with where the original speaker holes are. Now I put tape on it so I don't mark the rings of the speaker speaker grills. And these are gonna be countersunk. So I will go ahead and take that off now and set that in there. And now what I'm gonna do, now I'm gonna try to make this gap about the same. I wanna make it to where it's noticeable, where you know that it's intentional. So I'm gonna pick that real quick and then we'll go cut it. All right, so there it is. You can kind of see there's a gap there, which kind of looks nice. I think that looks a lot better. I think I'm gonna 45 these though real quick and then we'll take a look at it again. But yeah, that's gonna give it a nice three dimensional look to where it's not just kind of sitting there, you know? And then the whole thing will get wrapped. All right, so there we go. I beveled the edges. It's kind of hard to see, but there you go. You can see those edges like that. I think that looks a little bit better. It's gonna look a lot better wrapped. Give it more, more depth, more, more creativity looking, you know? So anyway, let's, uh, let's finish up the rest of the car, all right? Hey, thanks for watching the channel.